Let's now see the velocity time to graph for retardation. Now what does this mean? Many a times the velocity may actually come down. So the velocity coming down is known as retardation. This may happen when suddenly let's say for a moving car someone applies the brake and the velocity comes down. So let's say you have time in seconds which is given as this and the velocity like this and you are told to plot this on a velocity time graph. So you have time in seconds, you have velocity in meter per second. Let's take this as like this 10 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay, and time let's say is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So when the time is 0 seconds, the velocity is 40. So time is 0 here. At this point, the velocity is when the time increases to 1, velocity comes down to 30. So time is 1, velocity is 30, which is here. So you draw a line till here. Okay. So this is the second point. Then time is 2, velocity 20. Time 2, velocity 20. Time 3, velocity 10. 3, 10. 4, 0. 4, so 0 is itself is here only. So you draw this line. It's a right downward sloping curve. Now let's say you have to find out what's the acceleration. In this case it's not going to be the acceleration, it's actually the retardation. Let's take this point as T1 and this point as T2. So retardation again like acceleration is change in velocity upon change in time. So if you notice at this point in time, okay, the velocity is how much? 20. And the final velocity is how much? 0. So 0 minus 20. What is the time change that has happened between T1 and T2? T1, if you notice, is around 2 and T2 is 4. So 4 minus 2 seconds or minus 20 upon 2 is equal to minus 10 meter per second. This minus sign denotes that there is a retardation. There is no acceleration. Okay. So normally retardation is written as minus acceleration. So therefore, retardation when you write will become minus minus 10 meter per second or 10 meter per second. Okay, so this formula for retardation is minus acceleration. So we computed the acceleration on an as is basis, which gave us minus 10 meter per second which when converted into the negative gave us the retardation value.